Latrell Sprewell started hot and stayed that way and quickly showed the Garden faithful that not only can he hit from outside, but can create in many effective ways. I just felt appreciated, you know, especially coming from Golden State and what had happened there. Well, since his acquisition, Latrell Sprewell has said the right thing and so far done the right thing. I felt like I came for a circle. I'm thankful for the second opportunity, and I don't want to let anybody down at this point. Once people got to see me away from the court, I said, wow, he's not like the guy that I watch play all the time. A lot of good memories coming up as a kid in Milwaukee. We didn't have a lot of money. I mean, you just made fun out of, uh, you know, a basket, uh, a crate, and you nail it to a tree, and you get a ball wherever you can find one, and you go play basketball. I have two older brothers and a younger sister. Um, overall, we, we supported one another, and we got along as a family. My mom's my, my everything. As a kid, I was one of those clingy kids. Like, I always, if my mom left me with my cousin, I, like, break out crying and didn't want her to leave and hold on to her leg. So I'm a, definitely a mama's boy. My parents were separated. So, you know, she was the breadwinner for the family and um, she was always at work. So just knowing and knowing that she was always doing what she could to make life better for myself and my siblings was, was all the motivation I need to try to do better and make life easier for her. My early experience with basketball was probably as a fifth grader. I played in the parks and stuff like that, so I always played around, but um, didn't really get serious until high school, senior year in high school, so I was a little bit of a late bloomer. Brian Gardner was uh, on the basketball team for us, and he happened to be a highly recruited guy. He ended up going to Iowa, I believe, but he was in, we were in the same gym class, and I ended up dunking on him, and it, this play got talked about all over school, so. The gym teacher at the time told the basketball coach about me, and um, he convinced me to come out and try out, and I did, and I guess the rest is history when it comes to that, because we had a pretty good, good season my senior year in high school. I think for me, the, um, when I really started to get serious about it is when I went to Alabama. Then you start to see ex-players that have made it. Derek McKee came back a couple of times. Um, you see, like, football guys that are from Alabama who made it professionally and they come back. So you really know how close you are to making it to the pros, but you also know your window <laughs> is very short, very small. So for me, I just tried to um, do as much as I could to better myself within a short period of time because I hadn't played a lot. It was more squared off this. It wasn't around it like it is now. I know my locker was on this wall. I'm pretty sure me and Marcus and I believe LJ were next to each other. I'll take KP seat for a moment. Wish this guy was playing. First being here, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna learn my way around this place. <laughs> Coming from Milwaukee, it's, it's a lot smaller than this place. Basketball-wise, I really wasn't too concerned. I think I was more anxious at that point just to get get on the floor and um, start playing again. And there's a steal by Sprewell. Anticipated beautifully, goes up for the two and a jam. Sprewell again, knocks down the three. On the court, I'm aggressive, constantly attacking. I just play with a fierceness, a passion, and a competitive edge. I'd always make up these scenarios, anything I could think of to give myself a reason to be upset at the next person. So on the court, I'd, I'd always just have this attitude. I just kind of fit the city at the time. They love me, and I love it here. It made me want to play hard uh, for the team, for the city. I mean, it's, it's a definitely a pride thing here. New Yorkers are definitely passionate about their sports teams, and, and you feel that as a player. It's definitely pressure to win here, and you don't want to let the people down, for sure. Sprewell with a fall away. He's done it. Okay, 2 on one go, look up, good pass. Yeah, White. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you close, you right there. When I came back here for the first time after 10 years or so, just the smell, the look, 
the feel of the guard, the energy, it, it almost makes you want to suit up and play. Really? You gonna call three seconds? You can call that every time down. Definitely takes you down memory lane. Ward with a pass tip, but handled by Johnson. See, the play was designed for Allen, and I kind of went back door. We're just all over the place at that point. Johnson is three-point territory, but guarded tightly. He was definitely the third option, but it turned out being the best option. <laughs> Johnson cuts left, now fires a three, and it's good, and he's fouled! It counts, and he is fouled! You know what, honestly, after we beat Miami, knowing that they were the number one seed, we we felt like we were the number one seed in the team to beat. And NBA history has just been made. Winning the East title, I mean, I'll never forget walking around, running around the garden. The New York Knicks are the first eighth seed to ever make the NBA Finals. Just looking at the fans and having this feeling of euphoria, just, I mean, I was just excited and happy and, and proud at the same time. Three, two, one. Yeah. And they were cheating. And y'all got all the calls. <laughs> My favorite play, I got to say, was the dunk on Jared Jackson on this end uh, in the finals. I just remember catching it, and I'm facing the rim this way, and I'm eyeing this guy up like, if he jumps, it's, it's not going to be pretty for one of us. Here come the next. I just kind of looked at the crowd like, yeah, you know what it is. I got them that time. <laughs> and there were so many plays in that game. I think the thing I walked away with is just, just disappointed that we couldn't win. I mean, it was such a close game. It would have been nice to pull it off for our fan base here, so, but San Antonio was a good team. They were the better team that year, and you have to give them credit. The San Antonio Spurs have won their first NBA championship. If I could sum it up, uh, ups and downs. It's been some high points, it's been some low points. You um, bump your head in life and you learn lessons and you grow from them. And uh, I think that's what I've done for the most part. There are some things that I would change definitely, but there are a lot of things that I would keep the same because I think that's uh, those experiences have made me the person that I am today.